protect yourself at all times. Touch your gloves, come back out at the bill. Silken trying to keep that head on. Just leaning into the backhand a little bit. Norman had to... Aaron Cajas, but he, do you know what? He's relatively... Doesn't force it, he lets it flow, gets his jab again. You know, he really... Th the real fluidity to his... Pull himself out of harm's way. Come up. Really quite vicious in there too. Good point. Having a good look in this first three minutes as he's going to have to try and just slightly hesitant as he comes through. Nice at the end of this. So and he progressed defending a WBO A title. Just slightly jab, he slipped outside the jab and threw his left cross down. Didn't quite connect cleanly, but would have been a brilliant shot. Of it. Just looking to sting with Ainge that he needs to be at. He can win this fight on the outside, he's not going to want to do that. Sooner or later, he's going to want to really mix this. Ainge gets his left cross going and and uh, he's got the power that when he lands cleanly. What operators do, isn't it? The way they kind of build their way into that, then once they've got the one two, Spence. That's exactly. You just get behind your jab, get your box them out, and, that, and that's just the way it goes. And Ankar has. Forcing, he's not loading up, he's getting his jab, he's, he's thinking about what he's doing, he's not forcing it. What does he need to do, Matt, that he is establishing? Not the hand there, kind of caught with a check. Wrong, I just think at the minute. And cars. That's now managed by. I actually gave him a ten thousand dollar bonus. He, by three years old, and with another proceeds from that to the big money. And car has good right hand there from Sultan, and he's encouraged by that. Looking to try. Car has though took it well. So like I say, he's doing the right thing. Sultan boxing well. Him is just kind of one step ahead. Well. Coming back with his own jabs as well. Like Just a little step ahead of him all the time. Oh, yeah. Nice left hand there from my He just steps up. Round three, look at the uppercut on the silver. Didn't quite land, it was a good idea. In the black, both of these two from the Philippines. Just to throw that right hand himself, then pull back on it. Did, the fact that he fell short with it didn't matter. He got was not a great judge of distance. Pulls out, doesn't load up. They want to see these two engage a little bit more. So far, wind and walk forges. No time, you know, landing nice left hook there, looking for down the middle, which is always effective. He's boxing while he's doing all the right. Showing his fellow countrymen plenty of respect, right hand to the body, but he's covering up pretty effectively there, Sultan. Was taken mainly on the glove, but it was well. To the solar plexus, he throws it so well and cut. He kind of makes sure then that he kind of steps and moves with it and gets out of punching range so he can't be counted. It's the fifth, and Sultan is kind of grinding his way into this fight. Again, the crowd just getting impatient here. They saw some real action between from the very start, almost from the first. Really stepped to it. And I think that's in this second fight, and it's not quite. Shut the left up, got through the middle. Got good body work as well there from Ankara. Maintaining good defense there. Really, he's quite short in stature. Protects that midriff well. He looks a weight division below, very kind of. It's the final minute of round five. Came in from an unexpected. And just jabbing with the backhand. You can see him here fainting with his feet, looking to get Sultan to come onto a counter. He goes with that kind of backhand jab again. And that of his trainer that he probably will need to commit a bit more because I'd imagine they'll be rounds are slipping through there. Crawford, who is adding himself to that way. What is another spectacularly competitive division, and Sultan has come out at the start of the sixth, suggesting during that break in the fight, but he is losing the rounds. He's landing the cleaner point fight, so at some point Sultan will have. But 
you know, and, and Harness is boxing well here. What do you make it as well? Is it different over there? Are they more impatient? Oh, Carmona, Carmona was, a, was a bit of a ding-dong, really. Much more of an, a tactical affair, appreciating. Well, you can't let that affect you. To stay focused and uh, concentrate on the... Uh... <laughs> well, decent. And Carr has just trying to land the left hand. Gets off to the side, so gets off on an angle. Clever work. You see Manny Pacquiao do it a lot. Like it was someone that Ankar has looked up to and probably... counter into the round and car has with a, a flurry to the body reaching the midway point of the Again, just dipping in with that front foot there and car has just trying to see if bang with his eyes looking to draw something out of song that he can... right now he's looking for that uppercut Russian he does seem to be round seven here, Ankar has. Yeah, with the left hook there, Sultan. Jab for his trouble. Yep, just giving him the little... Fa he counters the counter with the right jab over the top. It's basic stuff, but clever stuff. He does the basics so well, but work. Always fainting, load up, really just shoots that straight left hand down the middle. Sometimes jab. Now began there for Mankar has he's trying to keep that head on there. Look at the draws. Counter puncher at times, and has and then other times he's a, he does a nice jab there. Just single now he's back in the center of the ring. Super flyweight challenger, Jonas Sultan in the black, and as Matt's been saying, put this from Soxing together, he's been compaising in himself. And let's just have it all in favour of Ankar. I'm giving him everything, Andy, like I say. He's looking for the right hand down the middle again, just one step ahead all night long. There from Ankar has looking to launch the left hand. Ankar has going to be happy, kind of cruising to a piece, or is he going to cute defensively, staying nice and tight? Staying small himself, good judge of distance himself, so um, interesting to see Van Kar has, you know, he's well on top in terms of winning the rounds for me, but... Oh, it's not really hurt Sultan at any point, has he, I don't think. And for that reason, maybe he will just box the round. Pretty vicious, but I think it's probably more a case of once he's the foot to the floor and really... Clean. He's boxing nicely, he's in a good rhythm. At the minute, that looks like he's content to do that. Trying to barrel his way forward there, so caught him. Again there from Ankar House, just sticking out the jab, pivoting around that front foot. Yeah, been a real, good, uh, not a blood and guts, in the trenches type of fight, but a good tactical box out down the middle, some quick left hook there. Stays nice and small. Swinging himself off balance, he looks to try and fight. Four had to check that there's no blood, no damage. Top combination from Sol. Now after Mouet stepped up. Brilton. Was a good left hand from Sol. One of the better punches so far in this round. Yes. Front foot there, Sultan. He's got that right hand cocked and wrecked. Just allowed Sultan to creep forward a little bit more. Sol was just lead right hand. Middle, always an effective punch against the southpaw. It was certainly gene him up anyway in that corner. In the red and white won that title against which in good style. On a couple of occasions, Siri spirited effort. This really gene him up, and he was certainly in the way that they wanted to see. He went the distance when he won the title against Brown Stoppage. In the sixth, his last fight was a tenth round. Punch of the foot of this round. And Ankara's come back with a nice. Let's see if he needs to kind of pile up the pressure now. So two to go. Yeah, two rounds to go. I've got finish. I wonder that they feel. 
that they're in the fight field, they need a knockout, surely they... Trying to throw that right hand, the jab there, and Carhas he's not done as much of that. Well, throwing on the, the move. Of a fight. Yeah, in these kind of say, psychologically it's a big thing. Just creeping forward, Sultan, as he gets in range to let his hand right to the body. It did land from Sultan. I can say very important, particularly in this stage of a fight when Sultan's trying to look for something, beat himself up. It's been an interesting fight to watch this. It's been... It's did. But the arena who have come to watch or leave talking about the half step that he does making room that straight left down the middle action in that fight between yeah fine danger that the judges are going to return of it that you have no i don't think so there are some close rounds but i mean even where i've gone with uh sort of you've gone to probably and Carr has been one-sided by any means. Salton certainly played his part and he's kept my lung by Carr has, for me, has just been one step accurate. It's all been coming from him. Slip that his right foot just gave way and both of these two looking to trucking up around that right eye of Sultan now. Loads up, just lets his hands go nice and accuracy and the power comes. Yes. Yes. Head there from Sultan. Just steals himself to try and come full net. Driving Sultan. It's nice and low. Difficult to hit. Landing some nice right hands of his own all throughout the fight, but you have to say that the better shots always come. Heading into the final 30 seconds. Right hand to the body, then missed with the right hand. Final few seconds, and these two just set their feet and go at it. And there's a and still IBF champion of the world, the pretty boy, Jerwin Ankaka.